Wow, so many cables. It seems that it has more powerful functions. Yes, all harnesses in your site are for E9 radio. I'll show you how to connect them. Find out the two wiring harness and connect the two plugs with the label of atmosphere lamp. Then, put them through the back of the metal bar in the center console from bottom to top. Tidy up the wiring harness. This blue plug will be connected to the factory USB port later. Plug in this big plug as shown in the video. It powers the new radio and connects Android sound to the vehicle system. Now, pull out the long red-black wire with the label of Quick Charge on it. Fold it up, tie, and put it back of the central console. Don't forget to tape the plug. The one on the far right is also the harness of the blue plug. Yes, this plug is useless. Put it into the center console. Put a USB cable and SIM cable into the glove box. In this way, it is easy to use SIM card, U-Disc, or other USB devices, such as DVR. The wiring harness contains a red-black wire and a 5-pin plug. Thread them from the inside of the central console to the bottom of the steering wheel. The 5-pin plug can be connected to a box to control the front parking radar and 7-color atmosphere lamp, but they need to be purchased separately. Wrap it in tape first. Connect the OBD plug to the red-black wire and plug it into the vehicle's OBD port. Hold the wiring harness so that it does not interfere with your pedaling. If you have this button on your car key, it will be convenient and interesting after connecting this cable, and you can open the truck's rear tailgate by voice control. If you don't have this button, you don't need this cable, and the installation will be easier. This cable also contains the plug of the reversing camera. If your vehicle has factory reversing camera or 360 degree camera, you can't use the yellow and red plug. Wrap them with adhesive tape. If your radio has a built-in microphone, skip this step. Fix the external microphone on the top of the A-pillar of the vehicle and pull out the cable along the edge seam and hide it in the rubber strip. Wrap the plug to the rear camera cable, then pull it out of the center control. Insert it into the microphone jack and wrap it with tape. If your vehicle has factory reversing camera or 360 degree camera, wrap the yellow plug in tape and the other plug will tell you how to connect later. This plug connects the factory camera to the new radio. Do you have this button on your original panel? If not, then this harness is useless. If have, connect them one by one according to the video. Here are two identical 4-pin plugs. Find the same number of wires to plug in. Don't connect them wrong. There are labels on many wiring harnesses. Please connect the plugs with the same label. The other plug with the yellow plug seen in the front of the video is the harness controlling the truck's rear tailgate, which is connected with two green wires. Pull out these plugs to connect to the original audio system unit. This blue plug is the input cable of B and O. If you don't have B and O, you can't see this cable. In addition, you may also have a Sirius cable. It usually appears on the far right, just connect it to original audio system unit. Push the original audio system unit into the center console. Stick the GPS and 4G antenna to the top of the central console according to the video guide. 
tidy up the wiring harness and pull out two yellow metal plugs. Screw in four screws. The video here is to speed up the playback. Tidy up all wiring harness that will be connected to the new radio. I almost forgot that I need to connect this blue plug to the factory's USB port. You need to connect it, follow the video, and then wrap it with tape. All connectors shall be wrapped with tape to prevent loosening and disconnection during installation or use. Take out the new radio unit with the air conditioning control board installed. If you don't install the air conditioning control board into the radio, please watch the previous video. Now follow the video steps to plug in all the plugs. Almost all of these plugs are designed to prevent wrong insertion, but GPS and 4G need to be connected to the radio by label. The following steps are very simple. Please refer to the video. If you have any questions, please contact us through the following ways. Bye!